What if an AI didn't just follow orders but learned, thought, and adapted like a human, staring right inside your favorite game like Minecraft? Well, allow me to introduce Eris, a revolutionary AI that's turning Minecraft into a playground for artificial intelligence. Yes, Minecraft, and it's hinting at a future that could change almost everything. Eris isn't here to play by the rules, it's something that is here to make its own. Unlike traditional games that have AI stuck with rigged scripts, Eris explores, solves problems, evolves in real time, and trust me, this isn't just about mining blocks in Minecraft. This is a tech that could soon be powering your smart home, driving robots, and reshaping the way we use AI. I want you to go ahead and picture this. Most AIs are like robots on a factory line that are programmed to repeat the same task, needing tons of data to get it right. But you have Eris. This is more like a curious explorer, dropped into Minecraft's chaotic, unpredictable world where it learns by doing, no hand-holding, no cheat codes, just pure autonomous intelligence. It's something that doesn't need any sort of data set to function. It uses its own brain and own functionality to do everything that is possible. Just watch this in action. Eris is going ahead and it's actually stumbling on lava, but it backtracks and figures out a solution and it's capable of avoiding it. It's not just reacting, it's reasoning live in action. That's what makes it the first of its kind, a self-learning AI that doesn't need a rulebook to thrive, which is just insane. Now you're all going to be questioning me, why Minecraft? You've probably seen lots of AI researchers use this game to explore AI agents and showcase their adaptability in these environments. Well, the reason why they use Minecraft is because it's not just a game for them, it's a boundless sandbox. It's filled with deserts, oceans, caves, and even mobs. It's completely wild, you have 3D testing around where Eris faces constant surprises. One minute you have it so that it's dodging skeletons, the next is where it's rerouting through a cliff. Every choice it forces Eris to adapt on the fly which is where these skills could one day tackle and have it improve on future interactions in the game. And eventually this is something that could help us in the real world where we can use this adaptability and use it in practical robots with the ability to have it execute and tackle these difficult tasks over time. Think of Minecraft as Eris' training camp. Every block it places, every path it carves, it's a lesson in decision making that could translate to robots mapping disaster zones or assistants mastering your home's quirks. These are just a couple examples but you can see and get a gist of what this could be used for. This is kind of funny. Please don't kill me AI if I'm laughing at you for this but in this case you can see that Eris is randomly walking around but it falls through this cave. And in this case it is knowing that it made a mistake and it fell down this cave and it needs to understand how to get out of it. You can see that it's actually having issues but it's learning and exploring different patterns to reroute around this cave so that it could be capable of getting out of it. This is where every choice forces Eris to adapt on the fly, which you see in this case. It's able to now find a way to get out of it with each block and in this case, it can use it for future interactions, meaning that if it faces anything similar to what happened here where it fell down a cave, it can use its prior skills for future generation or for future interaction of any sort of issue that it faces. This is why it's such a vital thing because it could be used for robots who encounter different issues around the warehouse where if it has to dynamically move around, it could use its prior context to help it do so. This is why this is such an amazing tech and that's why we're actually exploring it throughout today's video. Now you may be wondering, how does Eris actually pull this off? Well, it's because it's powered by a cutting edge mix of tech from different sources that are heavy hitters like Singularity Net's AI expertise, you have Fetch AI's agent systems, Ocean Data's memory tech, and Kudo's compute processing muscle. This dream team is led by visionaries like Dr. Ben, who is chasing artificial general intelligence, where AI can think like us. Dr. Ben had even stated that Eris is a stepping stone to machines that don't just compute, they comprehend. The secret sauce is neural symbolic learning, where it's giving Eris a mind that blends raw data with logical reasoning. 
Instead of needing a millions of examples, it learns from a handful of tries and trials, which is where it's able to progress further. Now you may be wondering, is Aeris always going to stay in Minecraft? Well the answer is no, because its skills could actually leap into the real world. Imagine a delivery drone that's dodging storms, a factory bot that's optimizing its own workflow, or a virtual tutor that adapts to your learning cell. This is all going to be possible thanks to Aeris, which is what it's mastering today within its techniques within Minecraft. The ASI alliance behind Aeris sees it as a blueprint for tomorrow's AI systems that collaborate, share knowledge, and tackle big problems together like a team of digital pioneers. Aeris isn't a mystery box, unlike these other AIs where decisions are a total black hole. Eris is built on tr being transparent where we can actually peek inside its brain, see why it chose the path or built that bridge. The openness isn't just neat, it's actually critical for everything related to AI so that we can actually trust it. The ASI Alliance is all about keeping AI human friendly, decentralized and accessible and free from the corporate lockup. They're even pairing Aeris with a supercomputer network that is rolling out by 2025, packed with next-gen tech to fuel this AI revolution. So what's next for Aeris? If we are to fast forward a few years, Aeris might not just roam solo. The picture is to team it up with other AIs where it can manage resources or even strategize like a pro gamer. Beyond just games, it could simulate climate models, design smarter cities, or assist doctors all while learning faster than ever thought possible. With SingularityNet's supercomputer firing up soon, some experts say that true thinking AI could hit by 2028, where Eris is proof for closer than ever. So what do you think? Could Eris conquer a virtual galaxy next? Or maybe transform how you use tech every single day? Drop your wildest ideas in the comment and I'm going to be definitely replying to all of them. Eris isn't just an AI, it's a spark lighting up our future where machines don't just abide, they actually innovate on their own and we're on the edge of something quite huge with this release. It's starting right here within a game like Minecraft. Stick around for this journey so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on it by making more videos on different sorts of topics like this which is something that you might have not seen on this channel before. So definitely give this a subscribe, make sure you follow me. So make sure you follow me on the newsletter so that you can stay up to date whatever is happening in the world of AI. Join our private discord, make sure you take a look at our Twitter page to also be informed on whatever is happening over here in the AI space. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.